Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Fucking Bitch. Ireland's own. Yeah. Look, dude, we're all a little frazzled. We just had. Some uh, yeah. No, we got terrible news. Terrible um, news. Um, guys, we found out. Uh, you know, <sighs> and I know this is gonna, you know, be weird. Uh, you know, like tonally. Before you say anything, can you just like be responsible? Like be, like honor, honor what we're about to say. Like do it with honor and not no jokes and. Yeah, I won't make any jokes, I guess. I, and I do feel partially responsible. I guess I was kind of mean to him, but it was like a freak accident. But Seth Dickfield, who you guys may or may not know, I, he's come on the podcast sometimes. We've had. Have you of, met him? Um, no, actually, I haven't. Um, but we've had like sort of like a, I guess you know like like a, you know like a, an intense you know back and forth i guess mm-hmm. a little bit i mean i was a little annoyed that he came on my show and he caused you know some grief with like another guy i know a good friend of yours sure. yeah a guy that i'm you know i'm pretty good friends with that i've known for years just uh guy well i mean we've known each other for 10 years you know since he was like about 30 he's he's near 40 now so that's how long i've known him is that he's almost 40 years old now um but uh yeah seth dickfield unfortunately was he was on vacation in Europe um, last week, and he oh, he was boy. visiting Auschwitz uh, just to see the sights and take it in. And he slipped on a banana peel and cracked his head open on one of those novelty oh. penny smashing machines. Oh no! And he died. He's, I can't, I can't deal with this man. And I know it sounds like that's a very funny way to die. Yeah, especially considering he's not even Jewish. He's not. A, but it's it go. it's the actual way he died. I know that like like that guy the from Star Trek that died. You know, like everyone was pretty chill about not making jokes about the ridiculous way. That yeah, that don't happened. laugh at it, dude. I'm sorry. Up, There's man. nothing funny about Anton Yelchin being crushed by his Jeep while trying to check his mail <laughs> by driving over himself. There's nothing funny about it. It's not funny. I can't do this, man. This, and it's this, not funny to that there is a steakhouse <laughs> themed. There's a there's a Holocaust themed steakhouse. That's not funny. It's not funny that Seth was there. And that yeah. guys, I can't. This tone is well, too light. I can't do this, man. I don't want to disrespect the dead. Well, I gotta go, man. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'm, luckily, I'm luckily we have uh, we have someone here to you know send Seth off. <laughs> Oh no, yo. Oh, uh, what's up? Everybody, please welcome <laughs> Ralph. Ralph Orowski, Seth Dickfield's cousin. <laughs> My beautiful cousin Seth, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the saddest day of my fucking life since the O's lost to the fucking Kansas City Royals in the fucking AL Championship Series. <laughs> yeah, they, the fucking good ones always go early, yo. You know, um, that's true. The good ones always go early. The good ones, the, al- the good ones always go early. The good ones, the, the good ones, ones, yo. Please do not the- fucking antagonize me right now, yo. I just lost he's my fucking grieving. baby cousin, yo. Nick, I will not have this right now, yo. He's grieving. I'm grieving, yo. What are the fucking seven stages of grief? Fucking sadness. Denial. Beating up a fucking Jew that talks to you funny. You know what I mean, buddy? And right now, I'm getting close to number three right now, okay? I'm sorry, Let me mourn sorry, my fucking Ralph. cousin, yo. I'm sorry, Ralph. We're here for you. Yo, I don't know, dude. It's tough, man. This is tough now. My family, now we got to find a new gay cousin to make fun of, yo. Yo, I think it's going to be my cousin Mark who cried during 9-11, you know. Um, you know, that's not the kind of family we are, yo. We are vengeance family, yo. We find some Sikhs and we beat them up afterwards. We don't fucking cry about that shit. So Mark is, but it could be, you know, it could be who knows, man. Is there is there going to be a funeral for Seth? Yeah, there's going to be a funeral. Um, We're going to, um... <clears throat> We're going to um, stuff his body up into a uh, crab cake. And we're Are gonna, you getting him taxidermied? Yeah, we're going to get him taxidermied, and we're going to actually, um, we're going to put him just in the den, uh, in Uncle Mark's den, where uh, it was his favorite place to visit. And we're just going to, we're going to put Steeler, put a Steelers jersey on him, and we're going to give him the finger just for like full time <laughs> sake. Um, that's how we want to remember him. As uh, a guy we fuck with. Was he a big Steelers fan? Um, no. No, he wasn't. We would actually hold him down and we would toss Steelers memorabilia onto him. And yeah. then we would send him out into uh, uh, we would send him out into the streets of Baltimore. And we would tell people he loved the Steelers. And then people would commit acts of hate uh, against him. And also yeah. we would tell them he was gay. <laughs> 
And could um, you? I mean, I know it's tough in a tragedy like this that you didn't. You obviously feel like you were robbed of the opportunity ro- to Absolutely. say goodbye and to say yeah. If you could say something to Seth right now, like what what would you say? I would say Seth, yo, don't be doing no gay shit in heaven, yo, because I'm about to be up there and I'm about to be finger popping some bitches. And if they hear, if Marilyn Monroe hears that I got a gay fake Jew cousin, yeah. <laughs> That might fuck my shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's who you're so, going for in heaven, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. This, um, yeah, this fucking uh, cross-eyed black girl from uh, Dundalk High School that was killed in uh, junior year. Uh, <laughs> oh. Her name was Mar- Is there a different Marilyn? Monroe? Yeah, yeah. She sucked my dick out back behind a Mars once while I was eating fucking burger cookies. Oh, you're. <laughs> You know, you go back for doubles. Yeah. So I'm going back. So don't be fucking my shit up with Marilyn. I know she got that good heaven body up there now, Seth. What do you think Seth would do if he had one more day on this earth? Honestly, yo, I think he would probably get on Grinder and then message a guy <laughs> and then uh, be about to meet up and then uh, delete his account real quick because he realizes he's still in the closet and it would be tough. <laughs> he didn't know what he would do if anybody ever found out he was gay. I think if he had one last time on this earth. Do you think, do you think Seth would get bullied off of Grinder, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I could see that yeah, definitely going down. Someone might, someone might make fun of Seth on Grinder and he has to delete his account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that, dude. Because he got PTSD. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's gotten PTSD before, yo. Um, but but you gave it to him. You gave, gave him PTSD him. by by yeah. teasing him. Well, yeah. well, that's how that's how that's what family does, yo. That's so, the kind of family we was, yo. But. So I um, I actually when I heard the news about Seth, I reached out to my friend who lives in Silicon Valley. He's an app developer. Oh my god! And so he Seth this, loved gay shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 he developed um he developed an app oh yeah that it's basically they can create a facsimile of your loved one after oh, they die god. so you, you can just click on the seth app oh my god i got him to make a seth one are you serious so man? we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna hook seth up to the soundboard right now yeah and i'm gonna give <laughs> you the opportunity to say goodbye oh my god to your yeah. cousin yeah, okay. Does, is you. that all right with you? If, if you're not ready, if that's weird if to you, ready. I don't... I don't know if I'm ready for this right now, but... um. Okay, so I'm going to just click him in. I'm just going to... Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. It's Seth. me. Yes, hello. I'm not dead anymore. <laughs> Seth is so good to fall He's talk inside to you, the yo. phone now. He's in a phone, yo? Yeah. He's... I live in the phone now, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. I can always have him in my pocket, yo? <laughs> Seth, yo. Hi, it's me, Seth. Seth, do you know how you died? I'm not dead anymore, everybody. (laughs) Seth, yo, one big-ass question, yo. Are these coins in the lost and found for anyone? (laughs) Seth, listen to me, yo. I'm trying to ask you a serious fucking question, yo. Hello, it's me, Seth. Seth. I'm not dead anymore. Seth, you fucking little slut. Shut the fuck up, yo. Oh, my God, yo. Yo, have you seen my coupon for half-off steakums or, or what, yo? Can I bring my own coupons? <laughs> yo, this fucking app sucks, yo. There's some more you Yeah, fucking I don't know. They... Hi, it's me, Seth. I'm not <laughs> dead anymore. This is, yo, honestly, I'm oh, tired man. of this shit, yo. Fuck, it, you're ruining the fucking tone. Well, Adam. I think you're making a mockery of me and my I'm fucking family, I'm not making family, a mockery. Yo. I just thought it might be nice. I think you're nice. fucking my shit up. I thought right it now. might be nice yeah, if dude, you could Adam, see your Adam, don't cousin. use that app anymore. Okay, just... I'm going to, all right. I thought it might be nice if you could see your cousin. No, again. that's disrespectful. I mean, even I wouldn't do that. Dude, don't you ever do that. I'm, I got half a mind to slap your ass over this fuck. You're lucky I respect Anthony Cumia in the studio too much to do that to you right now. But I feel like... <laughs> well, you better calm down because I'll tell you right now, everybody here in the Anthony Cumia studio has a concealed carry permit. Yeah, and I'm all well, all, all the way 100% up there with c- carrying your own fucking arms, yo. I think, honestly, I take my own gun, my gun to a paintball, yeah. We only got <laughs> we only got three amendments we care about here in the Anthony Cumia studio. Yeah, yeah. Number one, free speech. Number two, guns. Number t- 27, podcasting. <laughs> right to podcast. Yeah. Yeah. My, listen, I think... I think we need to send stuff off, yo. I think we need to say goodbye. I think we need to. Well, luckily, um, beautiful ass piece of music. Seth left us a song um, that he wanted us to play, and we're gonna we're gonna end it on that note and let Seth himself take us out. I'll miss you, Seth, yo.
R.I.P. Dickfield. R.I.P. You. We'll never <laughs> forget you. We'll miss you, Dickfield. Okay. Come town, episode eight. The I don't know. The, the, the eighth <laughs> episode. That's what this one's gonna be called. Goodbye, Seth. I love you, you. I fucking love you, you. I'm sorry, you. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Seth Dickfield. Hi, it's me, Seth, and now I am dead, and I'll complain all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day, fighting Republicans. And I'll complain all about it to none of my friends. I don't have any friends. Goodbye, everybody. I've had a great time here on the podcast, uh, telling everyone about all my various uh, circumcisions and political opinions. And uh, it's been so much fun being woke, but I'm in heaven now. Uh, where you go if you're perfect like me and beyond criticism. You know, I, I know I've complained a lot about uh, the Bernie bros and uh, the MRAs, but, you know, we're all people. I, I don't remember exactly how this song goes, and I'm not looking at uh, the lyrics, so... Um, I just want to reiterate uh, that I'm dead now. I slipped on a, on a banana peel at Auschwitz, uh, uh, and my head hit, uh, oh, oh, geez, it hit one of these uh, penny machines. Oh, boy, and here comes the loud part of the song again. You know what I can't stand? Loud noises. Some of us have PTSD, folks. Some of us got PTSD from being teased as children. I was bullied relentlessly by my 32 older brothers who uh, all hit puberty before me. I have actually never hit puberty. I still don't have puberty. Now I'm up here in heaven with Harambe the gorilla and he's been having sex with me. He's been demanding sex and I have to give it to him because first of all, it's right to refuse sex uh, if you're a man and uh, also because he's stronger than me. With that, folks, I'm, I'm going to have to say goodbye once and for all. And I don't know what... I don't remember this part of the song either. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>